All right, I just want to give you a little hint about this diagram that sometimes slows folks down. You see the two triangles here, this guy, and then this one. There's other triangles, obviously, but the ones that you're going to be involved in is the one that's kind of standing upright and the one that's kind of laying on its side. So again, let me just outline those. Uh, the one standing upright, A, B, C here, and the one laying kind of on its side, D, B, E here. What I want you to notice is, um, well, students uh, quickly notice the vertical angles in here and in here. Now those angles are truly equal and they are actually vertical angles, but they don't have anything to do with the triangles uh, that we've drawn. Because the triangle has an angle A, a B, and a C. This is out there in the middle of some side. So, so those vertical angles don't uh, help us here. What I want you to notice is um, this little angle down in this corner. To see how this angle here happens to be in ABC. And it also happens to be in DBE. You see that? All right. So there's something going on there. Uh, see if you can figure out what to call it and, and how to refer to it in your proof.